hi everyone today in this video i'm going to show you how to determine the determinant of any matrix 3 by 3 before starting if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification for more videos so before starting i'm going to show you how to determine the matrix 2 by 2 the determinant of any matrix 2 by 2 so I'm going to take an example, like if I say B is equal to, matrix B is equal to, I'm going to set B with 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I want to determine the determinant of this matrix, so determinant of B, determinant of B is equal. So we are going to multiply 3 by 4 and 3 by 2. So we are going to multiply 1 times 4 minus 3 by 2. So, determinant of uh, B is equal to 1 times 4 minus 3 times 2. And we know that 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2. So the determinant of B is equal to negative 2. So let's get back to our matrix 3 by 3. <coughs> so as you can see, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. 3 colon and 3 rows. <coughs> the first row is 1 4 7 the second row is 2 3 5 and the third row is 3 4 0 the first colon is 1 2 3 the second colon is 4 3 4 and the third colon is 7 5 and 0 so determinant of a determinant of a is equal so we are going to take 3 a 1 the first the first row this number 1 we are going to write 1 here so we are going to write 1 so we are going to write 1 so if we write 1, if we notice 1 is in the first row and in the first column. So we are going to add the first row and the first column. If we add the first row and the first column, we are left with this number 3, 5, 4 and 0. So we are going to write the determinant of these numbers. So we are going to write determinant of 3, 5, 4 and 0. So are going to write determinant 3 4 5 0 so the second number is 4 so we are going to write minus 4 you don't have to forget the negative be and because the first is plus one the second is negative so plus negative and the third will be plus and so on plus negative plus negative so the second is negative we are going to write negative four and if we notice four is in the second colon and in the first row so we are going to either the first row and the second colon if we add the first row and the second column, we are left with this number 2, 5, 3, and 0. So we are going to write the determinant of this number. So we are going to write a determinant of this number. 
So we are going to write determinant of this number 2. We are going to write determinant of 2, 3, 5, 0. So the third number is 7. So we are going to write plus 7. And if you notice, 7 is in the third row and in the first colon. 7 is in the third colon and in the first row. Excuse me. 7 is in the third colon and in the first row. So we are going to add the first row and the third column. So we are left with this number 2, 3, 3, 4. So we are going to write determinant of this number. So we are going to write determinant of 2, 3, 3, 4. So determinant of 2, 3, 3, 4. So we are going to calculate. So we know that determinant of 3, 5, 4, 0, we are going to multiply 3 by 0 minus 5 by 4. We know that 3 by 0 is equal to 0 minus 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So we are going to write, we are going to write 1 times. We know that 3 times 0 is equal to 0. Minus 5 times 4 is equal to negative 20. So we are going to write negative 20. We are going to write negative 20 here. Okay. And minus 4. We know that uh, the determinant of this number is equal to 2 times 0 minus 5 times 3. And we know that 2 times 0 is equal to 0 minus 5 times 3 is equal to negative 15. We are going to write negative 15. So plus 7. Plus 7. We know that the determinant of this number is 2 times 4 minus 3 times 3. And we know that 2 times 4 is equal to 8 minus 3 times 3 is equal to 9. <clears throat> and we know that uh, 0 minus 20 is equal to minus 20. Minus 20 times 1 is equal to minus 20. So we are going to write minus 20. And we know that minus 4 times minus 15 is equal to plus. Uh, is equal to plus. Uh, we know that 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So minus 4 times minus 15 is equal to plus 16. So plus 60. So we are going to write plus 60. So we know that 8 minus 9 is equal to minus 1. 7 times minus 1 is equal to minus 7. So we are going to write minus 7. And we know that minus 20 plus 60 is equal to minus 40. And minus 40 minus... 7 is equal to minus 47. So we are going to write minus 47. So the determinant of A is equal to minus 47. Determinant of A is equal to minus 47. I hope you like this video. If if this video was helpful, please subscribe for more videos. Have a nice day. Thanks.